Hi guys, it's Jamie from supergrowth.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use my YouTube keyword generator tool. So basically what this tool does is it allows you to basically mine or extract um, hundreds and hundreds of long tail variants of your main keywords for your niche. Um, and it does that by um, firing off requests in the background to the YouTube autocomplete feature on their search. So you know how a lot of big websites, you go on them, you type something in and it'll try and be clever and kind of try and uh, finish off what you're typing. So, you know, if you're typing gaming A, then it'll, t and it'll bring you a list of like gaming armchairs, gaming accessories, etc. So this tool basically goes off in the background and just mines as many long tail uh, keywords um, from your initial seed keyword you put in as it possibly can. Okay, so let's just go through some of the settings and I'll show you in action. So uh, this is just a delay in milliseconds between um, each request to YouTube. Uh, generally, that'll be fine. If you're going to stick in loads and loads of keywords and you will want to crank that up quite a bit, um, just so your IP doesn't get banned or anything like that. Um, so generate keywords from suggestion results. So if you have that ticked, basically, um, it'll just keep on generating more and more long tails from the long tails that you get back. So, you know, if you t type in gaming, it it'll, so if you've got gaming as your main keyword here, um, so you might, it might fire up gaming A and get back gaming, uh, armchairs if you have that ticked it'll then carry on and go gaming armchairs a and you, you might get something like gaming armchairs uh i don't know apple if someone's looking for a, a gaming chair made by apple or something um so that's what that does you can apply a regular expression to it um if you want to filter out certain things certain you know if you want to apply complicated rule to filter out certain results you can uh, a more simpler way to exclude things, if you don't want anything to do with, um, you know, gaming laptops or whatever, then uh, you can put laptops in there and any result that contains laptops will be filtered out. Keyword suggestion character depth, so this is quite an important one. So it all works by going off and entering like gaming A and then gaming B and then gaming C and then gaming D and just basically mining all the results out of the auto suggest. Um, if you have that as one, it'll just do A to Z and then zero to nine. You can skip numbers by the way, if you want. Um, if you have it as two, it'll do gaming A, A, and then A, B, A, C, A, D, E, and then it'll go B, A, B, 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 C, B, D, etc. And that'll take, it'll take a lot longer, but you'll get a much deeper mine and you'll get some, you know, uh, things that you just wouldn't think people would be searching for. And there might be, you know, zero competition, some of those longer uh, variants. Um, uh, which market should we use, US or UK? Uh, I will add some more in there soon. Um, okay, so. I'll show you it in action now um, with a fairly light keyword mine. Um, and then once we've got some results, I can show you what these buttons at the bottom do. So we'll just have our main keyword as gaming for now. Um, so you can see how we're typing gaming A, B, C, D, and we're mining all the results out of the YouTube uh, auto suggest. Now, okay, so that's just complete. Um, and you can see how we very quickly got turns and turns and turns of long tail keywords. Now, we can export the results. And these three buttons here, what they basically do is you can mark these results here that you've just got as your initial set. So you mark them, it'll say initial set then you can view the initial set. And then the next time that you run um, 
a mine for the gaming keyword or whatever, you can compare the results then versus the results that you've got in this initial set. So every time you come along and look for keywords, if it's the same, uh, every time you come along and look for long tail variants of your keywords, if you've got the same key seed keywords in here each time, then you can compare the results easily. And that'll show you if there's, you know, a new product out or something in your niche that maybe you weren't aware of, um, you'll see people searching for it. And that'll give you quite a competitive advantage. Um, so I'll show you what a, a little, bit of a deeper mine looks like now. And you can see we're doing A, B, A, C, D, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll get to the end of that. And then it'll be B, A, B, C, etc. And you can see that we're getting some quite uh, you know, quite long, long tails in there. Um, right, anyway, I hope that will make sense.